Welcome back to another show with Shabbos with Yossi. Today I want to do barbecue style. It's summer. Everybody's going out and barbecuing. Everybody's going out and grilling. I'm going to show you how to grill inside. How to prepare your piece of meat perfectly. We're sous vide a nice piece of minute roast. I'll tell you exactly in a minute how we prepare that at 131 degrees. Four or five hours, don't worry about it. I'm going to finish this in a cast iron pan. It's going to be yum. I'm going to make a nice chimichurri salsa. I'm going to plate this together with a nice bean and sausage concoction. I have a wine that I was going to pair together with my dish. I'm going to start early. My name is Yossi Weiss, and I have lots of passions. I love to cook, feed, cycle, and give back to the community. At age 23, I settled in Lakewood, New Jersey, and opened my first restaurant, a Shabbos takeout. These days, I'm focused on my new concept, gourmet fast food, the foodie's future of fast food. And like our slogan says, not fast food, good food fast. Shabbos is really special to me. Follow me along as I cook up a storm. Welcome to my show, Shabbos with Yossi. Let's start with the chimichurri. I have a lot of parsley right here. Going into my blender. Over here I have a little bit of cilantro. Let's mix up the taste. I'm gonna let the blender do the rest. I'm gonna add some garlic. A little bit of red wine vinegar. The Kedem red wine vinegar, the one you see right here. I have a quarter cup. Some dry oregano, some crushed red pepper, a little black pepper, some salt, and a nice amount of olive oil. This is ready. Watch this. A little more of olive oil. Wow. Perfect. I'm gonna put this in the grilled steak. It's gonna take your regular grilled steak to a whole nother level. I mean, a whole nother level. I also wanna add a little bit of lime. Like the acidity of it. A little flavor. Chimichurri. If you like more heat, simple. A little bit more crushed red pepper. It'll give you a nice color as well. Mm, wow. This is ready. Steak time. Always sharp and nice. Okay, so we I have a meat sous vide since 7.30 in the morning. It's three o'clock in the afternoon now. This is cooking at exactly at 131 degrees. Sous vide is a French method of cooking. Any one of you that don't have a sous vide cooker, you can always grill it for a little longer on your frying pan, but if you want perfection and you have a sous vide cooker, let it cook for a couple hours on 131 degrees. This will keep your meat exactly pink in the inside. Now, this piece of meat. Let's talk about the piece of meat for, for a second. I took a minute roast. I went to my butcher and I asked him to split it in half. From there, he took out that gizzle. I don't know. How do you say it in English? Gumi. That piece that you can't eat took it all out. So I have a top and a bottom. I cut it in half. I asked him to vacuum pack it for me. 
so I can, can actually boil it and sous vide. Here it is. Let me show you what we can do with this piece of meat. Watch this. Salt. We can go salt like this. If you really want to be cool, we can go. <laughs> Let's do both sides. But oh, first we're gonna do some pepper on this side. This way, or you wanna be really cool. This way. <laughs> Turn it over, do the same thing again. All you guys, one second. We can do this. <laughs> so. Okay. One. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. All right, let's focus. Here comes my hot olive oil. You hear that? I'm gonna do this uh, two minutes on each side. That's it. Put this back on the fire, exactly two minutes on each side. We're almost done. Two minutes on this side. Two more minutes on this side. I'll put just a little piece of rosemary inside for some flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Here I am with my hot Italian sausage that I want to prepare with together with my white beans. Let's chop this up. Again, I'm going to use that in my skillet. This same skillet I used my meat for. Right, right behind me. I'm going to use all the fats from the meats and all the flavors that I had from the rosemary and the garlic. And that's going to be part of my bean sausage dish. I'm slicing every single sausage in four, and then I'm dicing it. I have some sh shallots right here as well. Watch this. While that's gaining some color, we're gonna add some garlic, a little salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna add my white beans, a little bit of water. The meat's still resting right here. Okay, I don't wanna touch it, I wanna let it rest. I wanna let it absorb all the flavors. Once I start cutting this off, if I cut it up when it's too hot, it's gonna lose so much flavor. I wanna keep the flavor inside. I'm not touching it yet. I'm gonna let this sit for around 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna dice up a few of these beautiful grape tomatoes. Here we go. White beans. Mmm, I love that sound. Love it. Quarter cup of water. I'm gonna let this reduce a little bit. And you have our beautiful dish. Sausage and beans. I got this piece of meat. So be been surveying for like five and a half hours. Pan fried it, salt and pepper, nothing else. Made this delicious chimichurri salsa right here. I have right behind me cooking that sausage bean fricassee or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to slice this steak. I didn't see the inside yet. You will see that this will be perfectly pink in the inside. I'm going to plate it, eat it, taste it, and get you to want to prepare this dish. Let's go.
Beautiful. Look at this. Let's get a beautiful view of this. Beautiful. Now let's start plating this thing. This is my sausage and beans. There we go. Look at this. Here comes the chimichurri. This is where this little comes in right now. Mm. Wow, smell that. Beautiful. Mm. Wow. So juicy. Okay, let's try this. Oh, too much tree. Mm. Beans on sausage, sous vide steak, fresh chimichurri. Yeah, I have everything coming together. Peace. Let me know how it came out. You know me? Come into the restaurant. Let me know. Don't text me. I'm not interested. Come into the restaurant. Spend a few shekels. Spend a few dollars. And then let me know how good your dish was that you copied. For this recipe, for so many other recipes. There's so many other delicious recipes. So many other creative recipes. So many other good recipes. Kosher.com.